Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm going to try to get us up here so I can see my people. Love my people. Okay. Here we go, here we go. Welcome, welcome. It is Saturday and we are here live with another fun show for you today. Okay, Jill, you dancing with me, Jill? Get up, get up, shake it. Okay. We have something just totally outrageous in store for you today. We are going to be making something that we saw on diners, drive-ins, and dives. I don't remember who it was because once I Googled it, there was like a thousand. So I guess I'm the only one that had never heard of it. But in honor of my husband who loves Oklahoma tube steak, who knows what that is, Oklahoma tube steak, or it is also called Tennessee round steak. Any guesses on what that really is? Because believe me, I didn't know either. And so don't think I'm getting all fancy on you or anything. It is, hold on, drum roll please, bologna. Bologna. We have a big old hunk of bologna here today, or better known as Oklahoma tube steak. And we are going to be making bologna with pimento cheese sandwiches. So, pimento cheese is another thing that my mother-in-law, who I loved, um, she loved pimento cheese and made it, and there's a million recipes. Every family has their own pimento cheese recipe. Um, so we are gonna do a little twist on grandma's today. So how many of you, you do um, pimento cheese, have made it, and love it? Uh, anyone? Love it. I mean, what's not to love about a cheese ball, basically? So we're going to get started. I'm going to put our Oklahoma tube steak in the cast iron pan I have going back here to get it started for our sandwich. So I'm going to take a piece of our bologna. Is this the coolest? I told the lady at the deli, I'm like, no, I want like a whole chunk. She's like, what? You don't want it sliced? I'm like, nope, because I, I need a steak size. So we're going to get that going in there while we get started on our pimento cheese. So in the bowl, I'm going to use my helper here. We're going to put a block of cream cheese that is um, at room temperature or close to it. It's been out for a while. So everything mixes all together and gets nice and gooey. Yummy! So cream cheese in. And then I'm going to put in some cottage cheese, secret ingredient, cottage cheese, small curd cottage cheese is going in. Here we go. Easier said than done, I guess. Shoot, there we go. It's going in. So cottage cheese in. Yum! And then I have some mayonnaise. Four tablespoons of mayonnaise going in. Measured very carefully, of course. That would be four squirts from this mayonnaise squirt bottle going in. And then I'm going to start that on the mix here to get that um, cream cheese beaten up a little bit. There we go. My Instagrammers, how's Instagram today? Oh my gosh, it's going to be so yummy. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's going to be great. Let me check on my Oklahoma tooth, tooth stick. See how it's going back here. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's gonna be done. I've got my bun here. I'm gonna warm up my bun a little bit in the pan. Oh, so we got that going on back there. I think this is gonna be a yummy one. Okay, so we've got our um, cream cheese going in there. And now I'm gonna take the, I've got a green onion here, sliced up a couple of them going in and then I have the cheese which I'm actually going to do by hand because I don't want our cheese to get all messed up but I want it to whip up that cream cheese so the cream cheese is whipped so I'll back this up here and get get it going on here hey Rich how are you welcome we are making 
Oklahoma tube steak sandwiches with pimento cheese. And a little piece of trivia about pimento cheese, for those of us that didn't grow up in the South, one of the delicacies at the Masters Golf Tournament, if any of you have been blessed enough to go, we haven't made it there yet, but it's definitely on the list. Um, they make pimento cheese sandwiches. That's the delicacy at the Masters if you go to see the golf. Of course, Sunday when we get to go see the golf again. <laughs> So here we go, uh, into our mix here we have cream cheese, cottage cheese, um, green onion, I'm going to put two cups about of um, sharp cheddar cheese, and then another secret ingredient here is one cup of extra sharp white cheddar cheese going in. Yummy! I'm going to mix that up here and get it. I don't want to use the mixer because I don't want to break up the texture of the cheese too much. So I'm just going to do it by hand here. And then I'll show you. I got a glass bowl out so I can show you how gorgeous this is going to be once I get it going here. Oh man, yum! So then it wouldn't be pimento cheese, right? Without let's get some salt and pepper going in there. Hey Destiny, we're making pimento cheese. Grandma's recipe with a twist. So I'm going to put salt and pepper, you know, I like big grinds of pepper, so I'm going to make it lots of grinds in there, a little bit of salt in here to go along with our Oklahoma tube steak. And then I'm not going to put a lot of salt because cheese has a lot of salt already. Wouldn't be pimento cheese without the pimentos. So we're going to put the pimentos in there. And then my secret ingredient I'm going to put in this, my added one is some um, chipotle peppers to make it spicy. I'm afraid this, this much might make, this is two chipotles um, sli uh, chopped up real fine, but I'm gonna put one in there just to start, about half of that to start, because I don't want it to get too spicy. Of course, my husband loves it spicy, but it might get too spicy for me. I like it spicy too, but not as spicy as him. And I have made the chipotle adobo mistake before, where you make it so spicy, only Gary and I will eat it. <laughs> Everyone else is like, ah, too spicy. So this um, is going to be delicious. So this in here is our pimento cheese, homemade. But I'm going to taste it real quick and see if I can maybe get away with a little bit more chipotle. I don't know, you think he used Velveeta for pimento cheese? I don't know, maybe, but I'm going to taste this and see. Mm. Oh, I can add more. Even for me, add a little bit more. Oh my gosh, delicious! I think one of the secrets to hers was the cottage cheese. It just adds a real creamy thing. I think everyone has been at a party where you dig into a cheese ball or into something and it's like dry and yucky. But not this. This is going to be great. Oh my goodness. Yum. So I make sure before I pull this thing out and put some on our Oklahoma tube steak that's in the pan there. I got it all in. Mayo, chives, salt, pepper. I think I did. Okay. I'm going to put a little bit more pepper in here because why not? Oh my gosh, wait till you see this thing. Oh my gosh, I couldn't believe it when we saw it on TV. I said, oh, we definitely have to do that on the next show. So here we are, doing it. Okay, I'm gonna put this in a bowl here so you can see how delish this turned out. Yummy, hold on, I got a glass one. So you can see, I'm gonna move this mixer back out of our way here, Instagram, out of Instagram's way. And you can see what we made here. So here is our now you know why everyone has a recipe for this. Pimento cheese is a southern thing. And I think every family has their own secret way. But I think this one with the cottage cheese, and then I added the chipotle peppers because I just like it to have a little more zip. So that is in there. Now you can serve this with crackers and cheese. I mean crackers for the cheese or carrots or celery or whatever you would put this kind of a cheese dip on. Of course, at the Masters, they make pimento cheese sandwiches. 
So on some, I'm sure, classic white bread going for, for this. So that is that, pimento cheese, delish. And then I'm going to get back to our creation here that we are making with our Oklahoma tube steak, sometimes known as bologna. So let me get this back on here. I've got our bun warmed up a little bit there. And I've got our bologna going. I'm just going to give it a flip here. And I'm going to put a little pimento cheese on here so it can get melting. Oh my goodness. And we're going to melt some pimento cheese on that. And then we will assemble this sandwich. Oh, can you get the slaw out of the fridge? Got some slaw. I made some slaw while I was waiting for you guys. Um, this wasn't on the recipe. This I'm adding it because I just like slaw. I like some lettuce or slaw on any kind of sandwich. I know you guys too. Like even Rex now, he'll order you know a burger or whatever. Of course he doesn't like anything on it, but his mother has trained him always have the lettuce. Or in this case we're having slaw. Thank you, magic hands. My magic hands made my slaw up up here. So I made some slaw um, just with some. Um, cabbage, a little bit of green onion, pickle juice, apple cider vinegar, a lemon, salt and pepper, boom, slaw, done. And then made it a little bit ahead so it had time to gel. And then we got our, we put the lid on there so our pimento cheese will melt a little bit. And then I'll assemble this because it's going to be amazing and delicious. And this would definitely not be for the diet conscious. But at this point, I don't know, is anybody diet conscious these days? I think I'm getting to the point where I'm enjoying making these crazy things because one of these days, hopefully soon, the gym will open again. Yay! But in the meantime, we're making bologna pimento cheese sandwiches. <laughs> because why not? Hey Denise, how are you girl? Nicole, thanks for watching. What's happening today, Destiny? Yes, we're having a good time here. Making this deliciousness. Oh my good goodness. Hey, well, we just made pimento cheese. Get rid of this. And we're assembling. We are making a Oklahoma tube steak, sometimes known as bologna, sandwich with our pimento cheese, bologna. And I'm going to assemble it here and show you. We're going to make it yummy and some slaw. So I'm just waiting to get my... Pimento cheese a little bit melted onto our bologna in the pan. I mean, how cool is this? The lady at the deli, I mean, look at this. Who eats bologna? But those hot dog and bologna lovers are out there. I am married to one. <laughs> so a hunk a hunk of bologna there. But the lady at the deli was totally confused that I did not want it sliced. <laughs> I just wanted the hunk so I could make my big steak. My Oklahoma tube steak steak. So let's take a look at this creation here. Oh my goodness. Yum! Okay, I have a brioche bun here, a brioche hot, a hot dog bun, because of course we need um, a designer bun for our designer sandwich we're making. <laughs> okay, so here we go. I'm going to put it on here. Instagram can see. I'll move the pimento cheese out of the way here. You guys can see. I'm going to take our bologna and put it on here with our pimento cheese that is melting. I would melt it maybe a little more, but you guys are here, so I will get this done. Hey, Aaron. Oscar Meyer. I'm not sure. I don't know what brand it was. The deli kind. And then on to our sandwich here. I'm going to add some America's favorite corn chips. So I'm going to crush them, put on some America's Favorite Corn Chips. You know what those are. I didn't put the bag out. Since they're not sponsoring this show to, uh, today, but America's Favorite Corn Chips go on there on top of the pimento cheese. And I'm going to take the slaw, simple slaw, put some slaw on that. And then we're going to put the lid on there. And voila, there you go. Bologna, homemade pimento cheese. America's favorite corn chip, slaw, and we have ourselves a diners, drive-ins, and, drive and dives creation there. I mean, how cool is that? You guys see that? Oh my gosh. 
Let's Delish. Sit in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> I have a taker here. So I will have my magic hands to give this a taste here, my crew, and give us his report on how this is. And we'll see what he thinks of that. Oh my gosh, it smells so good in here. Nothing like fried bologna. Yum! Oh yeah, we got two thumbs up, five stars from the from, from the crew. <laughs> that a good one? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I know I still we're still on the on the favorite one. What's the favorite show? I don't know. It might be that biscuits and gravy lasagna, lasagna but this could be in the in the in the running because um, who doesn't love pimento cheese? Now normally you make pimento cheese the day before you want to eat it because it gets, be it gets better in the fridge, you leave it overnight, um, which I will do with this, but um, I wanted to make it and show you guys because everyone's got to know how to make pimento cheese. Summer is coming and it's great for barbecues. You can dress it up and dress it down and you're good to go and you can put whatever things you like in it. So kind of like pasta, you make it the way you like it. So, oh yeah, that was good too, the green eggs and ham pizza. So today we have, I need my birthday shout out behind you. We have a very special birthday shout out today. So birthday shout out today to my very dear friend, Kelly White. It is your birthday today. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. So happy birthday to you, dear friend, Kelly. And hope you're doing something fun today since I have texted and I have called and I have not heard back from you. My assumption is you're doing something grand and fun, which I hope. And then also birthday shout out today to John Fuquay. Happy birthday to you, sir. Hope you are doing something fun today on your birthday because it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Right on. So we, um, my giveaway today, we have a giveaway today that is very cool because exciting news. I got to go in a store, so I actually got to get something cool. So these are non-slip cutting mats, and there's four cutting mats per um, thing here. And some people have used these. I've seen you write on them like veggies, meat, poultry, so that you only use. You don't get any cross contamination, and you can you know have like the green one be for poultry, and you write on it with, with a sharpie, and then you. No, you only use your green mat for poultry, and then you don't mix up your mats. So anyway, giveaway today are these cool cutting mats, and I have two sets of those. So if you have liked or commented on these videos, on our cooking vi uh, videos, then you are in the pool. So let me grab my pool here and get you in here. So let's see who our lucky winners are today. And it is, let's see, do 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 Oh, Megan! Megan LeBlanc, you are the winner today. Megan, my dear friend from college, my spring break buddy. We had a great spring break plan. She lives in the East Coast, and we were going to meet in the middle, and got canceled. What a bummer. But we'll reschedule, right, Meeks? And PJ Zaretta, you are our lucky winner today with uh, cutting mats. It's really cool. So thank you guys for watching. And just wanted to um, have a little reminder that, you know, um, the most contagious thing about this virus is really fear. Fear is more contagious than this virus is ever going to be. So choose um, your two things you can control are your effort and your attitude. So choose a good one and choose gratitude. It's like a muscle. The more you choo the choose it, the stronger you'll get to stay out of the first emotion you go to, which is fear and anxiety. Let's um, focus on the good things and focus on the positive things. And we're all going to be coming out of this with new skills. I know everyone's been working on something. I love the sourdough starters. I haven't tried the sourdough starter yet, but I have a teacher lined up to teach me. Um, so I'm excited to learn that. So hope you guys are all having a great Saturday. And thank you for watching. You can find these videos and the recipes on our Facebook and also on our YouTube channel, Ventura Real Estate. So if you're thinking about real estate too, you visit us at GaryAndLisa.com. Um, find us at Ventura Real Estate on YouTube. Um, and we look forward to seeing you at the next show. And we are going to enjoy our Oklahoma tube steak and pimento cheese here this afternoon. So we love you guys. Thank you for watching.